Yeah, so I picked Tunisia. Um, reason being the the contest uh, awards prizes for the overall winners, and it also awards prizes for the top five from each nation community. And so for me, you know, anytime I enter a contest like that, then I always want to give myself the best chance. So, you know, say uh, in this instance, and I felt like there might not be as many competitors in the Tunisia group, so to speak. And I think last time I checked, there were 25 or 26 of us. So um, I believe the winner of each community uh, leaderboard, like the top five, I think, get that nation's jersey and a Jägermeister jacket. So um, you guys might see me uh, sporting a Tunisia jersey before too long. Skyler, <laughs> I, I hate to burst your bubble, but there's a better probability of me coming out of retirement and winning the MLS Golden Boot for the regular season than Tunisia has at winning the World Cup or even getting anywhere close to it. Um, so with that being said, I mean, Brazil is, prob- is probably the favorite, and I'm going with Brazil because even if I have to share the prize, I want to share the prize. At least I won. Tunisia has no chance at all. Who's your pick? Okay. I like Skylar's game theory. I think in the Real Shot Challenge, you want to identify a group that's not as big. I mean, if everyone picks Germany, you're not really going to do well in the contest. But my pick here is Belgium. It's, I guess, was trendy in the last World Cup. I'm guessing it's still pretty trendy, but they feel like a complete team. My only worry is Roberto Martinez is managing. Um, But top down, if you look at their roster, it's pretty stacked. Lukaku, Hazard, Vertong, and Toby. Um, Carrasco, this is, I could keep going. This is a roster that is very complete. I think they can get out of a fairly easy group.